So kicking things off with what's our advice for someone that wants to start a YouTube channel or that is just starting. And my first piece of advice would be just do it. Don't overthink it. Do it. Everyone wants to like start with something awesome. I'll just tell you right now, your first video is going to be your worst video. <laughs> Don't overthink it. It's going to be bad. Like with anything else, the first time you ride a bike, you crash into a tree. That's going to be your first video on YouTube as well. So just start. There's no perfect timing. I think every single one of us would say, I wish I'd started sooner. Mm -hmm. So just start and you'll figure it out by trying with everything that you do. Yeah, it's not just your first video. Your first hundred videos are going to suck. And, and that's <laughs> the, 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 the draining part. The, the ego gets shut it down. You'll spend an hour making a video to get five views. Four of those are your grandma not knowing how YouTube works. And it, it hurts. But then something will happen on that hundred and one video. And you'll just go. It only takes one video to take off. And you might be set. Something to do, too, is to take inspiration from all the channels that you love, like make videos that you yourself would want to watch. And that's how you learn how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to feel, how it's supposed to be edited, the timing of everything. Eventually, you grow out of that. We'll get into that. Don't stay in that phase too long. But that's also a good way to start is just make what you watch. I heard someone phrase it as, like when you're starting out, it's OK to be a cover band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the Beatles, when they started as a band, they were a cover band. They played other people's songs. When you're starting out, there's like a thousand things you have to figure out when it comes to doing YouTube video editing. It's awkward talking into a camera by yourself and not coming off just stale as can be. Trying to be energetic like this when you don't have a room full of people, it's weird. <laughs> you have to figure all that out. So start out as a cover band. You can do what other people are doing. When you're starting, we'll have different advice. When we get passes, when you're starting, it's okay to take major inspiration from people. Do something you're passionate about. Don't just start because you see someone else on YouTube and, oh, they're doing a good job. Let's talk about lawn mowers. No, do something that you genuinely have a care for. And from there, I think you'll be able to find out that, okay, maybe I'm built for this, maybe I'm not. But if you are, then you'll want to go back and keep making videos, and that's how you grow. I would say don't become a talking head just to talk. I would bring a personality. Sometimes you don't have to be the best on YouTube, but if you just have a personality someone can connect with, that's all it takes. And you can have a career on YouTube just by that. And I think that's a key one of whatever you feel you're doing talking to a camera, you're probably a lot more restrained than you think. You have to amp it up a little bit just to even like get to where you think you're at. So have a personality and crank it up a little bit. If you're ridiculous and you look at it in the edit and you go, oh, that's bad, you don't have to post it. But at least try, try cranking it up and figure out whether something has a little bit of personality to it.